Today is Monday Thursday, the day we think of Jesus sharing the Passover feast with his disciples. But it's also the day that we read that he washed his disciples' feet. So the picture I've chosen today is one by a man called Ford Maddox Brown and it's called Jesus Washing Peter's Feet. As you look at the picture, you can see Jesus with his head down in absolute humility, washing Peter's feet. The picture shows the disciples around a table, all with very different poses and the disciple on the left hand side just unlacing his shoe that is Judas he's already decided to betray Jesus and you can tell it's Judas but because by his side is the bag of coins the other disciples are just looking on in amazement at what Jesus is doing. Foot washing was a mark of hospitality. If you remember previously um, the woman who anointed Jesus' feet with oil and her hair, um, it, it was a total mark of humility, hospitality, and it was done by the lowest of the low. The lowest slave in the house would be the one responsible for washing people's feet. So now, when you look at the disciples and you see the shock on their faces, they're embarrassed, they don't understand. It's against everything that they know and that they keep, feel comfy with. Um, if you notice, on the left, one disciple's got his head in his hands. In the middle, a disciple is comforting another disciple. They're just bewildered by this because Jesus is their Lord and Master and he is humbly humbling himself and washing their feet. Peter has protested. You will never wash my feet, he's already said. But you know, we often think that Peter was angry and cross when he said that. But you know, it could have been a loving plea. You know, Lord, you're never going to lower yourself and wash my feet. Because he, this is something that only the lowest person would do. But Jesus is showing friendship no domination, everyone is on the same level. Do we take this on board? Do we treat people equally? No one is above anybody else. Nobody is below us. I just think Peter's expression in this painting is wonderful. Just look at him, he is grumpy. He is cross. He doesn't really want this to be happening, but he's allowing Jesus to do it. But he's not happy. But then, you know, when you think about him and all the disciples, all that they have seen Jesus do, they have seen him perform many miracles He's taught thousands of people using parables. They've been amazed at the discussions he's had with learned people in the temple. He's walked on water. He's healed the sick. And that's including, included people of high ranking, like the centurion 
going to him and it's also included people that wouldn't be noticed by anybody, the outcasts, like the lepers, like the woman who touched his gown. He saw Jesus talking to Elijah and Moses on the mountain. Jesus raised Lazarus from the grave. The same Jesus asked Peter once, and who do you say I am? And Peter responded, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And only days before this picture, Jesus had a triumphant entry into Jerusalem with everybody cheering and waving him. So no wonder Peter was unsettled with what Jesus is doing. But what a wonderful lesson for them all to have a servant heart. It just reminds me of the the great Graham Kendrick song, The Servant King. As you look at the painting, Jesus' head is down, really concentrating on what he's doing. He's tightly holding Peter's right foot and drying it. He's done a good job. It reminded me of a, a saying my dad used to use years ago. When you do a job, make sure you do it properly. Perhaps this is something I need, need to remember in life. The other thing when I look at this, I want to say is could we imagine ourselves in the place of Peter and Jesus is washing our feet, showing us to go out and copy him by serving people. We are in such a broken world at the moment. They need people to come alongside them and give them hope to share Jesus with them. Are we ready to serve? Have we got a servant heart because you know we are his hands and his feet another thing that struck me in this picture as I was looking at it is Judas he's starting to take his shoes off for Jesus to wash his feet Jesus humbled himself and washed the feet of the man that had already started the betrayal. Jesus knew this, but he washed his feet. That's Jesus. That puts me to shame when I make ex all sorts of excuses and all sorts of reasons not to serve others. What I need to do is look at this painting. Look at Jesus. Copy what Jesus did and taught. We have a wonderful, wonderful servant king.